Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of May 19th. As always, we'll get it started with the Mythic Plus affixes for the week. This week, we have Tyrannical, Raging, Necrotic, and Awakened. And one more time, Tyrannical, Raging, Necrotic, and Awakened. Now let's go talk about what's going on in the game this week, and including a pretty cool announcement from Blizzard uh, that came out today. I, I record these the day before reset. Uh, and uh, But we'll get to that after the few things going on in game with pretty slim pickings. We do have the Call to Arms um, Deepwind Gorge going on, and we have the World Quest Bonus Event. Uh, this is particularly interesting. I haven't actually looked when the Impressive Influence buff goes off, but the World Quest Event mixed with that is just some crazy amount of reputations for Paragon Chests and whatnot. So as long as the that buff is still going on, I will definitely be uh, partaking in many World Quests. Other than that, there's pretty much nothing going on this week. Extremely uh, just not great. Um, I do, oh, another thing to point out before I get to the bigger news is uh, uh, the, the Torments in Torghast. I did a video about it just the other day, and uh, it might have been yesterday even, uh, uh, about the Torments that are in Torghast. This is some kind of big alpha news. So if you're interested in looking forward to the Shadowlands at all and the Tower of Torghast, I definitely uh, suggest looking into the Torments. You can watch my video to get a little bit of knowledge on it as well. But read article about it, um, read Blizzard's thoughts on it and everything like that. Because this is definitely going to be a highly disputed thing going forward. Because the tower is kind of like the most looked forward to feature for Shadowlands basically. So that's definitely worth checking out. And then lastly the big news is uh, they, we finally get to choose our corruption. Now this isn't necessarily going to come out this week. Maybe it will be next week and who knows when it will be out. Because they are trying to implement a fix. Um, so you'll be able to choose your corruptions by using your Echoes of Nylotha. The easiest way to get these as an example is just you get them from doing your Emissary Quest. Um, and turning it in you'll get like 50 Echoes of Nylotha. You're going to get way more of them. And then uh, your Essences are going to cost the same times more. They do recommend, so if you are seeing this in time, buy your Essences now. If you have some saved up and, you're like, I've, and you've just been holding off getting your Essences on your alts, go ahead and buy those while they're still cheaper. Um, this, the price is going to go up with it, but so is the amount gained. So it is kind of even in some ways, but it's probably better just to get them while they're cheap, basically. Um, so you'll be able to spend these Echoes of Nyalotha and uh, purchase the target your corruptions you want. Now the vendor is only going to have uh, random corruptions, I guess, each week that it's selling. So it might be only rank one of the thing you need instead of rank three, for example. Uh, so you'll have to definitely... Play, pay close attention and target exactly what you want uh, when it's up and uh, prioritize certain things. Some of them get to be pretty dang expensive. For example, I think the top one is like 12,000 or, 50, or 15,000. Now you will be getting, uh, by their numbers, 250 just from doing an emissary. So um, when you add up other ways you can get them, uh, it isn't going to be too awful I suppose, but uh, to really get something strong it's going to cost a lot. You can also, as of now, only corrupt items that have never been corrupted before, which just means is uh, non-cleansed items. Uh, so you could only corrupt, let's say, a ring you got that didn't have corruption on it. You could corrupt that with this new corruption, but you could not corrupt the ring that you cleansed. They are working on a fix for that, and that's probably why they are not necessarily going to release it this week. Because uh, they want to find a way to do that. I have some theories on why they can't just do an easy fix on that because they never intended on implemented this system. But that's not really. That's for another video, I suppose. But yeah, uh, that's some pretty big news. I actually had just got my first Infinite Stars last week. So Blizzard decided, hey, that stupid Paladin finally uh, got Infinite Stars. So now we're going to put in a system where he could just buy the Infinite Stars uh, since he finally got one. So um, I'm pretty sure that that's the only reason that they did it. Uh, but yeah, uh, please subscribe to the channel because that helps me out the most. And other than that, everybody have a good one.